All right, as per request, I'm gonna show how to use the cold brew pitcher. Yes, this is glass. And I've never had an issue with um, any of my pitchers breaking. Um, I mean, if you drop them, they're going to break. And I'm sure if you put stuff like from hot to cold water, they can crack, but um, you shouldn't have an issue with them. So, um, what you do is you can take any coffee you want. I like the Archer Farms brands. I'm gonna use the mocha chocolate one today. Um, so I'm gonna dump that in, okay? Um, measure it, and so I've got the, see there's a metal insert and then there's an infusion insert to where you can do um, flavored water and stuff. So what you do, and actually I need a little bit more. Sorry, I'm one-handed here and I'm throwing coffee everywhere. All right, so then what I do is I slowly pour and try not to make a mess. Um, and then it's gonna start sifting through, all right? And I always add my sweetener in. Um, I know some people don't like to sweeten their coffee and that is okay. Um, it's up to you on what you want to do. Okay, and you just pour it in slowly. And you see it starts filling. So it's going to sit and drain a little bit longer and then you do have a handy lid and this will actually see this will come off I call it like it's little sweater and of course now I got it to where it doesn't want to come off okay a little bit more and I I have when I want to make a bulk one I will use a different one and use one of my quick stir pitchers like if I really want to make a lot, like I have some people that are coming over or um, anything like that. Um, but this way you don't have to use any, this has the filter already. You don't have to buy cheesecloth or you don't have to worry about draining the coffee. You guys, it's easy peasy. And um, there we go. It's just about done. So um, I will pour in just a little bit more. And then you let it sit and refrigerate, and there you go. That's all there is to it.